Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dawn of Ragnarok, lets you take on the role of Odin the Allfather as they embark on a journey to save Baldur, their beloved son, from the clutches of the unkillable fire giant Surtur. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Neither you nor I are fated to die today. This adventure takes you to a never-before-seen world in the Assassin's Creed universe, Svartalfheim, the realm of the dwarves in Norse mythology. It is a beautiful and massive area to explore. It's got awe-inspiring architecture, golden trees and rocks, and of course, dwarven allies and their astounding creations. This is a mighty gift indeed. In Norse mythology, the dwarves are renowned for their craftsmanship and created some of the most powerful items in the Nine Realms, and some of the coolest, if I'm being honest. Dawn of Ragnarok pays homage to six of those legendary creations through its mythical memories. You can unlock these events by finding specific anvils, they're called smitas, throughout Svartalfheim. Each smita will trigger a memory for Odin related to the item at hand, telling the story of its creation and how it relates to the Aesir. The six stories shown in the mythical memories, when put together, tell a classic tale of Loki's mischief. Based on what we know from Norse mythology, Loki, attempting to make up for a prank gone wrong, gets the sons of Ivaldi to craft three wondrous items. Then, impressed with their work, he bets the brothers Broker and Sindri master crafters in their own right, that they can't make anything better. The competition results in six items, from the sons of Ivaldi, hair made of gold for Sif, Thor's wife, that was beautiful and grew like it was real hair, Skidbladnir, the greatest ship in all the realms, and Odin spear Gugnir, which can hit any target. From Broker and Sindri came Gullenbursty, a boar made of living metal faster than any horse. Dropnir, a golden ring that multiplies itself, creating an endless supply of wealth. And Mjolnir, Thor's all-powerful hammer that we know and love from recent pop culture installments. Though Loki tries to sabotage the brothers, Broker and Sindri emerge victorious in the eyes of the Aesir in this competition, causing a bit of a problem for Loki, but that's a story for another time. But who are the Sons of Ivaldi? In Dawn of Ragnarok, they are an underground resistance group dedicated to fighting Surtur and the other fire giants, called Muspels, that have invaded their realm. The group was founded by Ivaldi himself, who you may have seen during Assassin's Creed Valhalla's earlier Odin sequences. By contrast, in Norse mythology, the sons of Ivaldi are Ivaldi's actual children, but not much is known about them beyond their creations. In Dawn of Ragnarok, the sons of Ivaldi are Odin's key allies, upgrading their weapons, providing information, and even joining Odin on the occasional quest or two. Broker and Sindri are also major characters in the DLC, and are actually part of the sons of Ivaldi, though it's clear they have a rivalry with the group's namesake, a nod to the past conflict. Dawn of Ragnarok gives you a deeper look into the brothers, making them key players in the fight against Surtur. As for Svartalfheim itself, in Norse myth it's actually believed to be an underground realm, a complex matrix of mines and forges where the dwarves can do their work. I mean, it makes sense given the dwarves' penchant for metalsmithing, and Dawn of Ragnarok incorporates several stunning dwarven structures built into and underneath Svartalfheim's mountains. However, the DLC takes the concept of being underground one step further. At any given moment in Dawn of Ragnarok, you can look up to the sky and see the craggy roots of Yggdrasil, opening up the possible interpretation of underground to mean more than simply under the earth. In Norse mythology, the dwarves lived at the bottom of all the nine realms, kind of like a cosmic underground, which I think is so cool. As you traverse Svartalfheim, you may notice rivers of lava flowing through the land, which is an unnatural occurrence caused by the Muspel invasion, which begs the question, who exactly are the Muspels and why did they invade Svartalfheim in the first place? Muspels are a race of evil fire giants from Muspelheim, a realm of, you guessed it, fire. Surtur is the guardian of Muspelheim, wielding a sword of fire and prophesied to be a major player in Asgard's destruction. In Dawn of Ragnarok, he's an imposing figure and a formidable opponent, and he brought his family and an army of Muspels to help him achieve his nefarious goals. You'll fight his wife, Sinmara, more than once in your journey to save Baldur. 
Treasure every moment, Javi, for death is at your heels. In Norse mythology, Sinmara is Searcher's consort, but Mimir's wife. You remember Mimir, right? The giant head Odin met in Jotunheim? You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. And she guards the mythic weapon, Leviton. You can learn more about Sinmara's character and backstory in Assassin's Creed Forgotten Myths, a prequel comic series from Dark Horse. Surtur's children are where Dawn of Ragnarok has its biggest divergence from Norse mythology. Vermin, face me! Glod is half Jotun and half Muspel, and his purpose in Svartalfheim is to find lost relics for his father. However, in Norse mythology, Glad is actually a woman, a queen of half Jotun, half light elf blood, married to the fire god Logi. That's Logi with a G, not to be confused with our favorite trickster, Loki. She has two daughters, Emiria and Asa, the latter of which is Surtur's daughter in Dawn of Ragnarok. Not much is known about Asa in Norse myths other than her parentage, but Assassin's Creed fleshes her character out more. According to Forgotten Myths number two, she was almost married to Baldur as a way to secure peace between the Aesir and the Muspels, an arrangement that obviously fell through. <laughs> Surtur's motivation for invading Svartalfheim are something of a mystery. In Norse mythology, he brings his Muspel army to Asgard, where they wreak utter destruction. In Dawn of Ragnarok's opening scenes, Odin attributes the Muspel invasion to Surtur's growing boldness, kind of a mere grab for power. However, you'll need to play Dawn of Ragnarok to uncover the fire giant's true, darker intentions. You can check out the DLC today by signing up for Ubisoft Plus or purchasing through the Ubisoft Store. If you love Norse mythology and history as much as we do, please be sure to check out Echoes of History, an Assassin's Creed-inspired podcast. Stay tuned to Ubisoft News so you don't miss a single Assassin's Creed update. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.